Yeah. 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 Bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be using the hookahs and the cluster grenade to take on Dr. Terrence. Now, I'm probably not going to use the cluster grenade the entire time, but uh, we're going to go over the first part. We'll collect up that tra trader ticket and some intel, and let's just go ahead and dive right on into it, guys. we got the cluster grenade loaded up. So, <clears throat> I had a couple of people ask me just, like, how I would use the cluster grenade or, like, is it worth using or whatever, stuff like that. Um, so basically, the cluster grenade is really good for kind of spread out, like I said yesterday, like spread out hookah or uh, rifle cryo, uh, zuka meta cryo, um, stuff like that. So basically, it's just kind of a nice, um, it just makes it a little stronger. It's not necessarily as like game changing as battle orders is to zukas or anything like that, but it does definitely help. You see, especially when you're clumped all in together like this, um, it definitely helps to throw out the grenade and um, it just be able to take out like that machine gun or that flamethrower or something when they're all kind of being flared into into one area like that. It's nice to have a high hitting damage thing that doesn't cost as much GBE, assuming that you've used your GBE um, like as you're supposed to on other things like on important shocks or uh, critters or whatever. It's just nice to have that extra thing, especially because the, um, the first two bombs, I believe, are 3 and 6 GBE. So yes, of course, an artillery is going to be um, a lot better of an option, but it, um, <clears throat> it definitely has its use. Um, just for... Um, just for exactly like I said, like when you're moving into different areas, um, it's, it's it's nice to be able to have the, the high damage, be able to take out a specific defense or whatever. Um, stage 2 and Stage 1, of course, we're just going to be able to blast right through uh, the HQ without having to do uh, too much crazy stuff here, guys. So I'm thinking once I get to Stage 6 or 7, I'll probably uh, bring out the Battle Orders. Um, I've been I've been playing around with uh, Smoky Hookah and Battle Orders a little bit uh, this morning, and it's actually it's really amazing. Like I'm not, I'm not surprised by it or anything. I knew it was going to be good. I just haven't really used uh, a whole lot of anything aside from uh, aside from Battle Orders, really. So um, yeah, aside from Battle Orders with who? What, what are we saying there? I'm not sure. We kind of lost track there. But uh, anyways, so. So yeah, it's not it, it's not like insanely game changing or anything, but you see right there it does help, and you see the splash damage. Um, I'm not sure if that actually takes out mines or not. That would be a good thing to test right here, because um, the big thing about the cluster grenade is the is the splash damage it does. Now, of course, keep in mind that my uh, cluster bomb thing is only it's only level one, so it's not doing like um, it, it it's not doing like an insane amount of damage or anything. Let's actually take a look at the stats really quickly here. So level one. Um, where do we see the info on it? No. Chicken. Upgrade. Okay. Holy jeez. Um, so initial damage. So it, it goes off your statues too, of course. And then the, the shrapnel damage. So it doesn't do much splash damage, but it definitely helps. And especially if you get 16 of them, that's actually quite a lot. Um, and then it's going to do over a thousand damage itself. So it's, it's actually a fair, a fair bit, uh, amount of damage that you get to use, uh, that you get to have, I guess. Um, so let's go ahead on this one, guys. Let's go on this left side, since there's nothing here. Um, it's only stage 4, but I mean, we might as well take the correct path to hopefully lose less troops. Back, back, back. So with that, guys, let's give a shout-out to the commenter of the day in the chicken banner over here. We have Ro MC, and uh, Ro just had a funny comment about, um, <laughs> like, telling me to use other troops. He's like, chicken, we don't want you to go broke here spending all your diamonds, which is kind of funny, because I spend it absolutely ridiculous amount of money on uh, on diamonds alone um so i thought that was kind of funny and uh and worth throwing uh mr Rowe up in the banner back, back, back. and of course guys let me know down in the comments um some different troops i'm kind of on this like kick of trying new stuff i guess so just let me know down in the comments some different troops you'd want to, uh you'd want me to to mess around with and we can definitely do that so you see when um as soon as you hit the cluster grenade, like, say, uh, Brick's way back there, like she is right now, um, she's just gonna sprint over to the first defense that comes in range of it, and, uh, oh no, it's not, the, it's not the defense, because I guess we just hit the HQ, and then you see all the splash damage behind, it looks like it doesn't actually pop mines, which kind of sucks, but, uh, but yeah, I don't know, it's, it, it's cool, it's definitely helpful, uh, I like it a lot, um, I'm finding it really helpful, probably the, the best situation I would use the cluster grenade is for, um, like heavy ice base pvp with the uh, rifle cryo zuka medic um the spread of heavy zuka yeah it does work but it's not as good as um rifle cryo medic would be um so let's go ahead i guess and just kind of see 
what we can get done using like the spread out hookahs. This is this was um I actually had someone ask me somewhat recently what my uh, most used strategy was down in, when I was in like a lot lower in VP, and it was all hookahs all the time. This is all I used from like 200 VP to uh, like 750 or wherever I I was at um, before I became maxed. Um, and it would still honestly work for this, but it, it was just all hookahs, kind of like what I'm doing right here. Um, just shocking the rocket launchers as I, as I moved up. Um, and then basically you would get to the point in the raid where you've basically taken out um, all the key defenses and then you just have zookas left. And you can kind of just uh, make your way into the core and then there's only a few single shot things like these sniper towers or whatever it happens to be on the base left. And you can basically just take it out from there and it was pretty straightforward. Um, of course, I prefer using smoky strategies now because that's kind of what you need to do at higher VP levels with all the ice and stuff, and it's just, I don't know, it's just more fun. So, um, so that's the cluster grenade, guys. Those are the basics of how I've been using it and where I think it's best. Um, I think it would be really amazing if it actually took out mines, which it doesn't look like it does. Um, I, I'm pretty sure we hit some mines with the shrapnel there, and it, it didn't look like it did anything. So, uh, let's go ahead and bring out the bad loaders next. And we'll see if we can get some uh, some good smoky smoky heavy zooka hits going on uh, on Doctor Terrence today, guys. All right, so we got stage six. Okay, this is not really what we want to see here, but uh, let's go ahead and throw a barrage down there. I do need to clear a bit of an area to get um, to get my heavies and zookas in. Hopefully, we can uh, get all three of these buildings out of the way and. Okay, so since we did that, we're actually going to be able to, um, I think we're going to be able to just kind of move over into this area without having to, uh, without having to lose too many troops to the sniper tower, and my plan is just going to be to take out all these crates, and then we're going to be able to move up and uh, farm up a little bit extra GBE uh, on the walk here. So let's go ahead and just fly up like this, we'll get the smokes going down now, and we will do something like this, guys. So we'll go like that. We'll get the chicken triangle going. I'm going to have to throw an extra smoke there, which is actually going to cost me quite a bit of damage. But I'm going to go flare like this, get the Zookas packed up a little tighter to hopefully keep them out of the range of that uh, of that second smoke that I put near the back there. And let's go ahead and stack the battle orders, which apparently is a thing, guys. Um, I've, seen, I've seen people say uh, different things about... Um, can you actually stack battle orders or not? And it, it looks like it does stack. Um, I'm, again, I'm not 100% sure on this, but um, just from my experience, it looks like it does actually um, stack a little bit. I'm, I'm not sure if you get if you're able to get the entire full duration of the battle orders uh, stack, but I think for like a minute, not a minute, but like a, a couple seconds there, I think it actually does stack a little bit. So. Uh, just something to keep in mind that it is worth throwing it out if you've got nothing else to use. Um, typically, it's going to cost you 18 GB, so I don't think you'll ever find yourself really that often in a situation that um, throwing out an extra battle orders is really going to help unless you're just like having fun like I was there on that base that we knew was going to go down anyways. Um, so let's go ahead here and let's take out... I'm not exactly sure. Let's take out this... And we'll do something like this, guys. This is going to be tricky because there's no real good spot to land all my troops here. We kind of just have to grease them right into this opening, which isn't going to work the greatest, but I think we'll still be okay. So we'll go ahead and smoke down like that and then move up here. And hopefully we can just keep the heavies hitting the mines for us. And then we'll go something like that. And then we're going to get the chicken triangle going like this. And I think this might actually work, guys. We'll, we'll let the zoos get packed up, and then we'll go ahead and uh, get the chicken spread eagle going. We'll get the battle orders up, and I'm thinking I'm actually going to have to shock the heavies to get that shock launcher, but uh, that should be okay. Uh, that rock launcher on the right side should be shooting over top of the heavies while we have everything in the back shocked. So that... Okay, so we barely we, we barely made it, guys. We barely made it, but that was a lot of fun. I, I've um, I've enjoyed using the the heavy zuga with the with the battle orders. Of course, like anything else, it's gonna come down to the base more specifically than anything. But uh, but let me know down in the comments, guys, um, what you've been using. Ha well, first, have you been using cluster grenade? Do you like it? Um, do you think there's a uh, do you think there's a lot of use for it? Um, like I said, I think the best is rifle cryo zuka medic and using it on uh, on player bases and. And yeah, so let me know that down in the comments, guys. Look what we have coming up, coming out soon. We got five attacks left on choke point. We got three bases uh, to go. I think we're going to be able to take it down. So definitely stay tuned for 10-man taking down choke point, guys. 
that's going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. Just a quick reminder, guys. If you visit patreon.com backslash the chicken for $1 a month, you can get your name in the chicken banner for the duration of the month. And for $2 a month, you become a super chicken and you can get your name in the banner. Plus, uh, you get to write your own personal message.